Dr. Philip Ackerman is the German ambassador to India and Bhutan. And today there's a very special thing going on at his residence where he takes possession of his latest set of wheels and they are extra special. So it's wonderful to see you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Very nice. Thank you for Maybe letting us into your home. And yeah. there it is. I mean, that's uh, a very big and special reason for us to be here. Uh, straight off the bat, I want to talk to you about the car because obviously it is, it is special for you to take ownership of this. It's the latest generation. It's also the latest technology. Uh, why this car? Why did you choose it? So I wanted, when I came two years ago, I wanted to have an e-vehicle. When you live in Delhi and you know how difficult the air gets um, in November, in December, in January, I think you have to do the utmost to reduce pollution. And therefore, I said to my headquarters, we need a e-wing. You see more and more e-wings on Delhi Street. There is a very impressive e industry in India, but there's also one in Germany. So I said, when we get an e-vehicle, it must be a German car so that we can also show that Germany is on this technology a leading, leading country. You know that BMW is producing in India. They have a big uh, production in Chennai. Although I have to say that this car was made in Germany and not in Chennai because the e-vehicle production will start only. It's not coming um, this year, but next year maybe or the year after. And I wanted to have a, a, a German car which is cutting it to technology. And the ministry generously enough said, um, go for this one. It's, I think, the latest version. It's a very big car, nice for my t size. <laughs> my yes. Um, and, um, and I think um, it fits in our um, partnership with India, which is basically defined by this, what we call Partnership for Green and Sustainable Development. So we want green technology um, to make um, the environment in Delhi and elsewhere better. And that's one contribution. Cool. If we, uh, if we had to guess what's the ambassador's car, I think the 7 Series would be a common guess, but you're right. The fact that it's an EV makes it a little extra special. Um, the, the point you make about sustainability, this is also a dialogue that's ongoing in Europe. Of course, it's now picking up speed here as well. There's also a lot of collaboration between German uh, industry and Indian industry mm. when it comes to future technologies. Mm. What's your view? So I think we, we need to join hands on this. Without India, fight against climate change, fight against pollution, fight against environmental deterioration is futile. We need India as a partner. Therefore, we have this partnership. I just mentioned it. It's a very intelligent, crafted, intelligently crafted uh, partnership. And um, next week, when the chancellor and seven ministers from Germany come in order to sit down with Prime Minister Modi and his cabinet to discuss you know, the bilateral agenda, this sustainability agenda will be high on the, on, on the, on the agenda. And therefore, I think um, this is basically uh, you know, like an incarnation of what we do. The um, manifestation uh, of it. The manifestation of it. <laughs> um, I'm very well aware that this is a car that only very few people in India can, um, can afford to buy. I myself could not afford to buy it in Germany. It is also not my car. It's the car of the German ambassador. So when I'm, I'm going, another one will take over. <laughs> but um, I think it is important to show that um, we are committed to the sustainability thought. And at the same time, I think Germany is one of the world's leading car production, production countries or car producers. And therefore, it's only justified to show what fantastic vehicles we are. It also drives really well. I mean, I've, I've spent a lot of time driving, you have, you have, um, okay. testing it, and so I, can, I can tell you that it drives, despite yeah. its size, it drives yeah. beautifully. Yeah. Um, I know you've just got the car, yeah. you've had a very short experience with it, but what's the thing that stands out? I love the choice of color. I've never seen it in this shade. It's a, it's um, a beautiful color. I think it's my nice. choice, actually, I have to say, but um, it's elegant, but not completely black. And so the driving is beautiful. It has more space than the, the 7 um, uh, series. And, and you're used to that car, so it's... Yeah. In so a way, it's a, it's a, it's even better than the seven series. I would say space wise, and it has, of course, all these gadgets, these electronic gadgets that the own it's car not. didn't have. So, <laughs> and yeah. I think um, the uh, you know the experience of driving is um, is different. Uh, even the drivers say for them it's a change. Also, you know, from a combustion engine to to a silent, so smooth, so and, and quick, and very quick. Yes. Looking forward to it. And sir, we wish you many, many miles of safe and happy driving. Thank you very much. Thanks again for having us. Thanks. And Thank congratulations. You. Thank you.